Kevin Durant is a once in a generation caliber player. The level of greatness that exists in this young man is beyond special. We have never seen this offensive repertoire, this package before our very eyes. He's 6'10", man. He's got a 7'6 wingspan. He can, he can play point. He can dribble the ball up the floor. He's fast, he's quick. And now we're seeing a guy evolve before our very eyes and add on to the greatness we already know he possesses. I'm saying to you, there are certain talents that you have to step back and say, you know what? I'm gonna shut the hell up and appreciate what I'm seeing because everybody can't do what this boy can do. Kevin Durant is a superstar. I think Kevin Durant is great. I think that you can't pick three dudes in the NBA that you would want before Kevin Durant. Three. You can't come to me with three dudes in the NBA that you would come before Kevin Durant. This dude is a elite. He may go down before all is said and done as the greatest scorer in NBA history. This dude right now, as far as I'm concerned, is the clear-cut favorite for league MVP honors. If the MVP vote was today, he'd be first, he'd win it, and it wouldn't even be a close second. Kevin Durant is on a mission, and what he is doing is showing you what he's capable of. It is that simple. I'm looking at this guy, the package that he is, and I see an offensive arsenal, the likes of which I don't know if sure. I've seen for some time. I'm going to get emotional. Uh -huh. I'm just a KD fan. Mm. Kevin Durant, I mean, Steph Curry is my favorite player mm -hmm. in the NBA. He's my favorite player. Yep. But Kevin Durant ain't far behind, man. This dude is on another level. And, and I almost feel, I'm getting to the point where I almost feel it's sacrilegious to get the better guitar. I think Kevin Durant is the greatest scorer in the world. And I think before his career is over, he will be the greatest scorer in NBA history. I don't talk to Stephen A. Smith at all. Nobody in my family, my friends, they don't talk to Stephen A. Smith, so he's lying. If you ask me a question, I'll talk about them. But like I said before, I have people who I talk to about everything, and I know for a fact they didn't talk to him, so he's making up stories. But I will say this lastly. You don't want to make an enemy out of me. And I'm looking right into the camera, and I'm going to say it again. You do not want to make an enemy out of me. I'm not having it. And the Golden State Warriors come back from a three games to one deficit. We just lost like 30 minutes ago. So I, don't know, I haven't even thought about it. I'm, you know, I think about that stuff. You know, I don't know when, but we just lost an hour ago, 30 minutes ago. So I don't know. There's no excuse for him to leave OKC because there aren't too many situations that are better than the one that he's in now. It's Golden State for Kevin Durant. Wow. Think about that team. The Oklahoma City Thunder are a championship caliber team. They're championship contenders, particularly with their resident superstar at the time and Kevin Durant leading the way. Not only do you decide to depart, but you depart for Golden State. I just consider that a relatively weak move. It's the weakest move I've ever seen by a superstar in the NBA. This better not be some situation where Kevin Durant sit back chilling and ride in the wave to the championship. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 I could do that. It better not be, you know, Clay and Steph. No, 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 KD, they already got their chip. They already won their championship. And KD, you wanted the chip, all right? Yeah, anybody could get a chip playing with those dudes, but I need KD to be that yes, dog, like, that you alpha think? dog. Redemption for Golden State. The Warriors are in. 2017 Finals MVP, Kevin Durant. One of the greatest players in the world, and he showed it. Uh, this dude averaged plus 30, shot better than 55% from the field. It was one of the most efficient offensive performances we've ever seen uh, from a superstar in this league on any level, particularly in NBA Finals history. Durant putting on his toe. Kevin Durant torching the Cavaliers way outside, delivers! There's a new dynasty in the NBA. The Golden State Warriors champions once again, back-to-back -back titles. The back-to-back -back NBA Finals MVP, Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant is an elevated version, the second coming of the Iceman. And what I mean by that is that even it's not just about George Gervin. 
It's about the level of production that he gives you in key moments. This brother, during the NBA Finals, this brother, Kevin Durant, looked like he was shooting against the shooting coach in practice. That's how easy it looked for him. When the team needed something, he gave it to them. It didn't matter who it was against. It didn't matter what the situation was. There were times where Kevin Durant looked absolutely positively bored because it was that easy for him. The noise about New York was legit. I'm not saying KD directly did it, but people close to him certainly gave the Knicks an indication that he would be willing to come to New York. Make no mistake about that. Those, there were folks saying something to the New York Knicks, not him directly, but those close to him. The top five destinations for Kevin Durant next season. Let's go to number five. That's right, I said it. The New York Knicks. I don't care if you got to hire a massage therapist, a masseuse, uh, somebody to do pedicure, somebody to, to give him bubble baths, somebody to, to, to carry his bags, somebody to do his, I don't give a damn what you got to do. You get Kevin Durant, even if it meant waiting an entire year. Kevin Durant, not a top five player in the NBA. Why do I even have to talk to you about basketball? Why do I even have to listen to you? Why am I subjected to the dribble coming out of your mouth? Bottom line is Kevin Durant is a better pure shooter than Kawhi. He's a better pure shooter than AD. The Greek freak ain't even a part of the discussion. And the only reason Steph Curry's in the conversation is because he's the greatest shooter we've ever seen. You're not you're not that those other things. I'm you're not changing the subject. The hold on, hold on. Well I don't, we don't game. know what the subject is because the fact of the matter is I let you talk. I didn't say a word. Not a word. I actually sat here. I, know, but I, I actually sat here but and listened to your flagrant ignorance. The reality but is Kevin words. Durant is <laughs> one. Uh, uh, Kevin Durant, not a top five player. But you Kevin can, Durant, you not a top five player. From the mountain I apologize. Let's Kevin Durant, go. Hold on. Let me, hold on. Let me, wait, let me, I'm whispering. I'm players. whispering. Kevin Durant's not a top five. I just, yeah, I just yeah, finished doing this. So I just finished doing it. Whatever Kevin Durant wants. If Kevin Durant wants a pedicure and a massage every day, he'll have it. You think if KD went into a hookah bar or a restaurant or any place, else, you really think he's going to have to pay? See, New York, you don't have to advertise that you get free stuff. You just give it to you. Let me put myself on front street. Ladies and gentlemen, I get stuff for free. And I'm just Stephen A. I mean, Stephen A is very, very significant, if I should say so myself. I mean, it's not like I'm a nobody. But I ain't Kevin Durant. I'm Kevin Durant. I'm Stephen A. You know who I am. Yeah. You know who he is. You you, you know who he is. Yeah. You y'all you, know who he is. He's Kevin Durant. We all know. I don't pull. I don't pull any punches. I'm gonna bring the heat. I promise you. If KD goes to New York, there will be no bigger protector than me. Yeah, but I don't give York, a I will. I will carry his bags. I'll, I'll, I'll clean up the. I'll clean up his lock at the garden. I'll, whatever it takes to make sure that KD is comfortable and ready to ball for the New York Knicks, I will do with no objectivity whatsoever. That's how desperate <laughs> I, I am. Ibaka trying to stay with Durant, knocks it away, and Durant's limping. Durant goes down, holding his leg, and Durant grabbing that right leg. It's the right calf that put him out. I think it's more likely that KD stays. Why go somewhere else for a four-year deal when you could stay opt-in and then ultimately get a five-year deal on top of that. Kevin Durant is going to sign with the Nets four years, $164 million. He will join Kyrie Irving. You're the New York Knicks, and not only did you lose out, but you lost out to Brooklyn. And then what do you do? You sit up there and you send Ramona and Woe's information. Well, we weren't going to give him the max anyway. How stupid can you be? I'm looking at the president of basketball operations, Steve Mills. Why the hell would that statement be publicized? But more importantly, I think they're lying. It's one thing to sit up there and say, we just want to dot our I's, cross our T's, and make sure that his health is fully in place before we make the max offer. It's another thing entirely for literally minutes after losing out on him to Brooklyn. Your position is, well, we didn't want him anyway because we were worried about his health. I'm sorry, you can't rely on that dude to be better than what you have had when you're the New York Knicks and you've had nothing for years? Please, it's a joke that they would even put that statement out there. And it's really sad.